What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another Dragon Blaze video. And today's topic is going to be about, I guess, what heroes you should make. Like, you know, tier list heroes. Um, it's going to be very, very difficult to do this type of video because the game has just changed up so much. And it's changed up over time, it's changing now. And there's not too many uh, definitive heroes um, that are like super, super amazing because most of the heroes that you have now are already pretty good. And then the majority is based on like what kind of content they're specifically designed for. So that's why it's kind of a, that's kind of, that's why it's kind of difficult. But at the same time, you could find definitely good heroes that you can use for sure. Now I haven't used too many of my heroes, like a whole, whole, whole bunch. So, but I'm gonna do my best to try to help on what specific heroes you should be building. Basically in the game, like, you know, like basically really, really, really good heroes. And when it comes to your second impact, I've only made a handful of these. So I'm not really gonna go through the list of down here too much because it's really based on like your preferences and what you wanna be using. Now, if you're new, then yeah. I mean, <laughs> I can guide you into what ones you can definitely have. And you know, you have your reviews, you have your preferences, you have your, your transcendent skills, which is another thing I'll have to eventually get into at some point because this is another way to increase your power for characters and you have your skills. I mean, then you have your details. I mean, you can have your preview skills. Like there's so many things you can see in this game and it tells you what they do. You can also read the description as well, which generally takes a long time to do, which is why I kind of try to stray away from here because it takes a while to read these, depending on what a tier level because the third impacts they take forever to read but enough us all fail um when it comes to first impacts with heroes that you should be kind of building is um helios would be basically the first one and she's very good at supporting you keep your team alive your cooldown reductions she just does so much and i've mentioned helios throughout most of most of all my videos so I would definitely want to stick with her. And if you want to go through like the, the, the heroes I mentioned, you can go through the skills and read for yourself. I'm not trying to make this video like too, too, too long, but trust me when I say this, Helios is definitely one to definitely um, have on your side uh, for sure. And you have one of every class. You have Enchanter, Paladin, uh, Rogue, Healer, Duelder, and then there's like one more. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a class. Yeah, there's Paladin, Dual Wielder, Warrior, Rogue, Paladin Healer. There we go. So that's all the healers. That's all the uh, classes in the game. You'll be building characters from each one. And obviously, this is your Dual Wielder. I would definitely be building her for sure. I've had her through every single level she's been through. She definitely puts out great damage. You know, her, I mean, just flat out amazing to have. And as you advance through the game, you won't be using her as much anymore. But as far as you starting off and stuff like that, if you're not, if you don't have too many third impacts, uh, she's definitely one to have by your side. She's also really good in the arena area too. Like she wrecks face depending on what's going on. Highly recommend you definitely building her as well. Now you can use her too. I think this is for a chamber only. So you can use her basically through her own content. So I don't really include her in this video. She's really fun though. I highly recommend you do her content. Um, Bright Spark, which is your mage. Um, she's very important to the story as well. I will, and also her too. I would use definitely um, Bright Spark probably as your only mage for a while as you're going through the game. And this video is for, I should have said this first, it's for returning players and beginning players, not beginner players. Uh, Veteran players, don't worry about this video. This isn't for you. Or uh, a ruins video is coming tomorrow, for sure, for veteran players and for for everybody really, but mainly for veterans and normal content. Newer users, you can look at it as well. But 
Yeah, Bright Spark has a lot of AoE abilities hitting all your characters. She does really great damage. I do definitely enjoy her being on the team and you making her. Um, but the goal is just to make all the characters. <laughs> so in my opinion, you know, she would be an S tier. She would be an A tier. Uh, S tier, she just doesn't do... I love her so much, but she doesn't do a lot of damage outside of the higher levels of the game. But she isn't focused for that. I mean, this is your first impact. The game has gotten too much stronger. So when it comes to like a beginner standpoint, she'll be an S tier. But for veterans, she'll be more like an A to a C. Um, definitely always going to be S no matter what. Um, her, basically an A tier. A tier to S tier. Basically more how you look at it, in my opinion. Blizz, she has a lot of like good single target damage um she the reason why she's so high level because you have to use her to make second impacts so her level is extremely high um but i definitely recommend her probably being like an a tier a to b tier you know but for, for beginners that's kind of where she lives and then you kind of just go down the chain um he's decent he's for guild adventure specialized he's not too bad he's decent um basically decent can be really good though. I mean, your mages are very good, depending on what mages you want, but they're decent. Uh, decent healer. There, there are so much ones that are better, in my opinion. And you can go through your heroes and look at their abilities and see what they does. But I've used them. I've, I've used better ones. So definitely very decent. Um, decent. Like basically, if I had to rate them on tiers, this would be like a B tier to a C tier, probably C, C. Uh, probably like a B tier because she's actually not bad. Uh, B tier. I mean, this is your, this is also a healer. There are just so many better ones that are out now. But when it comes to like a, a beginner standpoint, I would still put her as, as a B tier because that's just better healers. We'll get to them eventually. Uh, Archer. I can, I'm in my opinion, I can put him as like an A tier. He's very good. I've used him quite a bit actually before the newer ones came out. So I definitely like him. And again, I don't want to put their abilities into this video. This is just like a tier list of what I think about. And then it's up to you to look at their abilities and decide on what you want because you're going to make them all. You just have to make them all because they're used for all the content. But um, I like him. So I put him as an A tier. Uh, S tier. S tier all day long for, for, for healers. So like when you start off, if you can make Envy, uh, S tier for sure. I've used her for a long time. I... Stop using her because I use a third impact healer now. That's just it's way better, but obviously because it's third impact. But for your beginning stages, since you're your beginners, uh, obviously A tier all day long. I highly recommend you having her as a healer on your sideline. Uh, as far as Dual Warrior, he can be a good damage dealer as well. I do like using Death Crow. I've used him quite a bit in his lower forms before he even got to first impact so i in my book i think he's an a tier i uh, like using him quite a bit he does great damage so and plus if i remember correctly he summons a dragon that does good damage because he's part of the um he's very important to the story i can't remember what they're called but there are certain characters that have special summon abilities and he's one of them so i definitely like death crow uh quite a bit him he's he's decent i mean i kind of put him as like a c tier um, cause there's just so many arches in the game that you can use. That's just so much better. So, um, it's up to you. Uh, A tier for sure. I've used, I've used Wrath quite a bit, actually, coming up. I actually made her when the second, uh, when second impact update came out. I've used her then, I've used her beforehand, so definitely, definitely puts in the work for sure. She does great damage. So how 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 that breaking means you making her. I think she's an A tier. I like him too. He's a he's a warrior, but he does great damage. He kind of supports your team very well, kind of soaks up a lot of damage too. I put him as an A tier. I've used him quite a bit. Actually, as well. Um, I really, really, really enjoy him. He 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 does he does get work for sure. And then you have your rogue. He's a really good rogue too, actually. He does great damage. I used him a decent amount as well. Uh, very, very good. You're gonna make all kind of classes in this game. I highly recommend you make, you know, all the classes and kind of figure out what you want from there. This is just my opinion. This is not a fact, but I've used these heroes, so I kind of carry some weight when it comes to what I'm talking about.
I like him. He's he's very good. I give him I give him an eight tier for sure. Hearts eight tier, all day long. Um, not too many S's, but <laughs> uh, well, I mean, she can be an A to an S in my opinion. She's pretty good actually. She does great damage. Obviously, Hearts has a lot of different forms because she's a very important to the story, and you should definitely go through the story because it can give you a lot of great information about some of these heroes. Definitely an S A tier in my opinion. Uh, I didn't really use you too much as far as like going through content. I mean, I did use you going making the second impacts. Definitely pretty good. I mean, I give you like a B, B or a C. Um, it's just when I say like when I give them rankings, it's based on how much I use them through, through like all the content. That's kind of what I'm going on. But definitely for beginners, these are these are all good ones to use. Uh, he's a pretty decent rogue, actually. He's not too bad. There's other rogues that are just better amongst the group but if you want to build him he's definitely good i give him a b i give him a b as well he does decent damage i mean you he's also required to use to make a second impact so definitely good um a tier for enchanter definitely very good she does a lot of great work and it's not because she's my favorite character of all time uh i'm being very biased she's definitely a really good enchanter you won't really use too many encanters though, like throughout the game, depending on where you are, because you have to focus on just stronger characters trying to get through whatever you're trying to fight. But as far as like long fights, like when you're fighting your world bosses and stuff like that, encanters are very good at buffing up your team. That's what they're that's what they're there for. They're there to make sure your team is kind of get healed up, buffed up and all your stats and put in the work. So definitely very good. Uh encanter. This is actually like um, main uh, one of my main characters, actually, which is funny. Uh, definitely a really good encanter. Like, like your encanters are pretty much going to be in the same things. So I won't talk about them too much. They're all categorized as the same, basically. <clears throat> warrior, he's a pretty decent warrior. You know, I I give him a B. Like most characters in this games aren't too terrible. It's just depending on what you're trying to do will determine whether they're power level and what kind of where they stand. So. Uh, a tier for sure. She's one of the other ones that summons a dragon that does really great damage. She's dead. Well, actually, no, she's she's an S tier. She's just very, very, very good. But it's just for beginners right here and returning players. Third impacts, it just outclasses all of these. But I'm gonna do my due diligence my due diligence and trying to just tell you where I'm coming from where they stand. Um definitely a B tier. I mean it's a rogue. She gets she does pretty good damage. Uh C tier. When it comes to mages, she doesn't do too much. So she's actually, uh, she's she's decent in my opinion. Priest, same. Um, she's she's a B tier. There's Chan's like the best one in my opinion when it comes to like the healers, and she's also a first impact. We'll get to her shortly. Uh, S tier, and the reason why she's S tier is because it's really hard to kill her, depending on what level you are in the game. She kind of soaks up a lots of damage, so your team can kind of go through and wreck your team, uh, wreck your enemy team. I've used her quite a bit. She's actually one of my favorite characters of all time, other than the dual wielder. She's first, and plus, when she dies, depending on where you are in the game, her um, her dying ability revives your whole entire team. So, very very awesome. That ability doesn't work everywhere. Doesn't work everywhere, but it is very notable. She is a awesome awesome paladin definitely s uh mage wise i can give her a b the, there's just so many mages that are that are just so good um b basically so rogue i didn't really use him really that much so i really can't really say about him uh, i didn't really uh I, this is actually one of your characters actually so i give her i give her an a she actually does good work she's one of your characters that she use that you use like the main characters if you played this game quite a bit you'll know what i'm talking about archer uh i give her a b uh i give her an S. I, I i give her an s because she's actually really good i used her before she became first impact and she did a lot of damage very very good if you can get her really strong she puts in work so i definitely give her an s mercedes i give mercedes an s because she's actually really good she's a very powerful uh healer revives you know revives your character she puts in work gives some buffs she does a really great job getting the job done chan s and if i can go higher i give her an s plus plus she does so much work she gives she gives buffs she heals her heals are great 
I mean, I use Chan a lot. And honestly, if they didn't have a really good third impact out here that outclasses her, I would still be using her. So uh, a must when it comes to having her as part of your enchanter lineup, uh, healer lineup for as your priest. Definitely, definitely great. Uh, not too much to talk about her. She's she's okay. I give her like a C. She's not really the greatest, but she's decent. Encanters, not going to talk about them. They all fall basically in the same line. Uh, she's a decent healer, in my opinion. Uh, S, when it comes to Archer, she's actually very, very strong. I've used her quite a bit when she first came out. She did a lot of damage. Uh, I highly recommend definitely building her as far as your lineup. Paladin, I really didn't use him too much. But I'll probably give him a B for sure. I'm pretty sure he's very, very good. I didn't use you that much, but they're healers. So, I mean, I'll, I'll always give healers a B. I mean, they're, they're just needed. Same here. That's actually a main character, actually. She's, she's awesome, actually. Then Blizz, his lower form. Paladin. So, um, he's definitely very good as well as a Paladin. Uh, Cantor, I'm not going to talk about it. They all fall in the same wheelhouse. He's very good at he does a lot of good damage. I like him. I use him quite a bit. Um, I like him. I would definitely recommend building him. Definitely build Wendelin. Awesome. S tier all day long. She's awesome. She does great damage. She's just fun to have around. She's a good character to have. Uh I don't know. I didn't really use her too much. And their levels is based on all the packs that I've bought and stuff like that, and then hero summons and stuff like that. So that's why their levels are decent. Um, she's actually pretty decent. Actually, I give her an A. I used her a little bit, just a little bit. I had a great time using her. She's actually pretty fun. <clears throat> Paladin, he's actually one of your main characters, so he's actually really good. Uh, second best healer, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely her. Um, I give her an SS along with Chan. She's so, so strong. I definitely would build her for sure. Her vibes are great. She revives more than one character, I believe. She's And then whenever she dies, she actually comes back after a couple of seconds and revives people. Like, she's really annoying. She's she's just such an awesome healer. Definitely make her. Can't turn, I'm going to talk about him. I like her quite a bit as far as enchanter-wise. She's the other enchanter that I use quite a bit. Not in this form, in her lesser form. But she puts in a lot of work. I really enjoy her. I definitely recommend you making her too. You should make all the characters so you can have fun using each one. Um, she's a decent rogue. <clears throat> a pretty decent rogue, actually. I give them a B's. I use her. She's actually like an A. Um, now it's kind of harder though. Like it just outclasses so much when it comes to these characters now. But I'm gonna go down this list specifically for the new users. So definitely is an A tier. A tier for sure. I, I've, I've used her a lot. She's actually quite good, depending on what's going on. Uh, I didn't use her too much, but I will give her a B because she, she's pretty strong when she wants to be. Him, I give him a B. He's actually quite powerful. Ben, I give him an S. I used him a lot, especially in his lower form. He is super, 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 super awesome. Definitely recommend you building him. I didn't use her too much at all, actually. Uh, but she's actually really fun. Um, she does great work. She's a rogue, so she's going to put a lot of damage out very quickly. That's what rogues do. So definitely very good. And most of these characters are between, like, you know, A, B, and C. So uh, I don't really use him that much. Uh, I give her an, an S. I used her a lot coming up as far as another healer. Um, she she has great uh, cooldowns, great abilities. She busts up your team. She does a lot of work. So definitely give her an S for sure. Encanters, they fall in the same line. Um, I've used Terrell a lot. Actually, I give her an I give her an S. She's actually really really awesome for a paladin. Um, once Shane came around, she kind of just got deleted in my list. But man, she's just so awesome. Same thing with Rose. Like Rose kind of fall kind of like all in the same thing in my opinion. So there so there are better rogues to use. Rogues is kind of up to you. Uh Archer. She's a pretty fun archer, actually. I've used her a little bit. I definitely give her a B. Most of the characters are like between like A, B, and C. There are some S's and some double S's and stuff like that, in my opinion. 
Paladin. I didn't really use them too much because there are just so many Paladins that are just too powerful. So I'll give them a B. Cantors follow the same thing. Rose, kind of the same thing. I mean, they're all decent in my opinion. She's a really good warrior. I give her an A. I used her quite a bit, for sure, coming up in the game. Um, Archer. This is actually your main character class, I believe. Archer right here, if I can remember correctly. Um, they're also very good and very enjoyable. I say this because I have special armors, like special um, ca costumes on them. So that's why I'm just remembering that. <clears throat> Same thing. He's another character. He's also very, very good. Definitely S's all around when it comes to them. I give him a B. Uh, I give him a B as well. I mean, there's just so many good rogues to use. I give him an A. He's actually a part of the storyline. He's really, really, really powerful, especially his other forms. Mages, it's really hard to, to say which ones are good. She's actually decent. He's actually really, really strong, actually. He's really, really good to build. He puts in a lot of work, does a lot of damage. Definitely recommend. Uh, Archers, there's just so many ones that are better, but she's actually not bad. Mage, same thing, not bad. Not bad. Uh, very good. I give an S for sure. He puts in a lot of work. This is his healer form. So good, in my opinion. And you can look at all their abilities too and decide what you want. This is just me being biased. But I've used some of these characters and I've proceeded with others. So they're decent. Decent. Uh, I like him a lot. I give him an A for sure. He puts in a lot of work. He helped me out through a lot of good situations growing up in the game. Like this game has changed throughout the years. So it's really hard to say where they lie. Because you don't really use them too much. Same thing. Decent. Um, she's actually an S enchanter. She's actually really, really good. Actually, I've had a lot of great games with her. She got me through a lot. S, when it comes to mages, very, very good. First crowd. He's really good, actually. Highly recommend you using him as far as why. Uh, decent. There's so many good rogues that are good. Um, he's actually a really good rogue, actually. Uh, uh, I like him quite a bit. I didn't really use him much at all. I didn't really use you much at all, but I'm pretty sure you might be a good paladin, actually. He does a lot of damage in Library of Fate, though. Uh, I'll give you an S. I've used her quite a bit. She's actually really fun. Takes some damage, dish out abilities. She's really fun. And he's actually not bad either, actually. He's actually quite good. I mean, most of these guys are great. You just have to go through and like think about what you want as far as tier list goes. I mean, each ones are also very, very good, depending on what you want them for. That's why it's kind of hard, because all of our play styles are different. Like, they're all decent. All decent to good. Uh, she's actually an S. She puts in a lot of work, a lot, does a lot of damage. Like, it just depends. She's actually quite decent. She's okay when it comes to a healer. Uh, she's decent. They're enchanters. I'm going to talk about them. She's a decent healer. Uh, decent archer. Pretty good. Pretty good dual, uh, dual warrior wilder, actually, depending on where you are in the game. Uh, decent. She's actually hilarious, actually. Uh, back in the day, she was really hard to, to deal with. Now, not as much, but pretty fun. Uh, he's actually decent dual warrior, actually. I like him quite a bit. Uh, she's actually really decent. He's decent. He's decent. She's decent. Uh, she's pretty decent, actually. That's an uh, actual character, I believe. She's really fun to have. Uh, she was actually pretty hard to get, actually. I'm not sure if you can actually even get her. We actually started. She was in a special event, actually. And her as well. Uh, she's actually really, really good. She's really powerful as well. I highly recommend you using her. If you can get her. They were actually special event characters. Now, as far as second impacts goes, phenomenal. Definitely an S. Uh, S for sure all day long S does great damage if you can build these guys I highly recommend you doing that S basically all these guys you see here are, are S's that I built they're very 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 awesome like each one of them they do great work depending on where you are in the game um, they all are awesome and they do great damage and they're just fun to have in your team they're all great I can't say for these guys because I haven't used them, so I'm going to skip them. Uh, third Impact, S tier, uh, actually SS, SS, 
I'm gonna go higher tiers now. I mean, they're all powerful. They do great. She has a vulnerability. She has an ability that makes her team invulnerable for a little bit of seconds. I mean, they do great damage. SS. SS does just such dumb damage. Like she's actually my strongest. Almost, I think she's my strongest character currently right now. I believe, just does so much damage. SS. Their her signature skill just oh man like this just does so much damage and they get them so fast they deal great damage too it's kind of ridiculous they're just so awesome she's just so awesome to have uh double s all day long she's actually so good like she's such a good paladin actually that's why um i don't use chan as i mean not chan i don't use heal as much I switched over to her because she does just as much work and if not more and she also buffs up your team she just does so much work so good just, just so good ss dude just cranks out damage and just wrecks people like he he does a lot these guys are awesome double s whenever she dies she revives your whole team i was talking about that earlier with camille she does the same thing i mean she is a great healer just does so much work like these are high tier characters right here to, that on this list. He's actually decent. Um, I give him an A. He does pretty good work. I use him still. <clears throat> I'm looking to replace him at some point. Um, she's an S. I don't use her as much as I used to, but I still consider her as a class S because she does great damage, for sure. She puts out lots of damage. I give her an S as well. She puts out a lot of damage. She, her abilities are pretty good. I mean, they're just so awesome to have on your team. Uh, I give her an I give her an A. She does pretty good damage, but my other mage just just, just does more. Um, I give him an A. I have other archers that are and my other archers just better, but um, I like him. I give him an A. Uh, I give him an A as well. He does great damage for a rogue. I give him an he's a double S. He he makes he buffs up your team. He does great work. He has great abilities. I've, I use him a lot in mean, a, lot, a lot of my um, non-adventure stuff too. He's awesome. Awesome. I give him an S. He does great damage for sure. Love to have him on your team. You should definitely be building him. Um, I give her I give her an S. She's a great healer. Great, a great healer to have. But as far as my other healer, I use her just more. But she's really good to have on your team. Same here. S. She does great work. Great healer. Revives your team. Revives enemy, revives you, gives your team buffs, I believe, as well. Very, very powerful. Uh, double S. His uh, signature skill is so retarded, uh, actually. Cranks out so much damage. Love to have him. If you can make him, make him. He's just so awesome. Uh, give her an S. Very powerful character. Does great damage. Give her an S. <laughs> She's gotten me through quite a bit, actually, when I first started using her. And I plan on using her again eventually. Just so powerful for a rogue. Definitely an S. Uh, Cantor, they I just they fall into the same thing. I don't really use her that much. Mage, she's, actually, she's a pretty S, actually. She does pretty good work. Priest, he's an S. Other ones are just better, though, in my opinion. Same. S, fall in the same thing. Paladin. I didn't really use him as much yet because I already have some that are just far off the rails amazing. But I'll probably still give him an S because he could probably put in the work. Uh, Rogue, same. Um, I'll give her an S. She's a rogue. She probably does extraordinary amounts of damage. I have to actually power her up more and get her on my team. She's really good. Same, S. Does so much work. I mean, it's, it's unreal how, how good she is as well. I mean, I mean, everybody kind of falls here in S. None go below an A. All S and above, in my opinion, because they're, they're the strongest in the game. You get them up there, and they'll put in a lot of work. So that's kind of where they fall at. Like, all of these are S's and S's and above. So that's why I say you, well, you want to make all of these, and she's the newest character. So that's kind of where I lie when it comes to... Like the tier lists and stuff like that and characters and where you want them to be. But it's really up to you to find out what teams you want. And again, the video for the tower I'll make at some point. But the tower is very specific on what it wants you to use. So you have to power up all your characters and really hope for the best and hope for good patterns. And hope your team can get through it in a matter of minutes. I mean a matter of seconds because it doesn't give you that much time to fight them. So... 
But that's today's video. I hope it's very helpful for beginners and returning players. And, I mean, you know, veteran players too, I guess. But it's really for just those two. So until next time, guys, I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Stand by.